Good morning, everyone. We're about to start the seminar in approximately one minute. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Aziz Tashbulatov. Uh, I'm with the uh, Department of Administrative Services, State Purchasing Division. Uh, I'm the contract manager for uh, newly awarded industrial, medical, and special gas statewide contract. Today, we're going to talk about the newly established contract. We're going to uh, briefly, uh, you know, give you a background about the current, the existing contract, and then we're going to mainly talk about the new contract. We'll uh, look at the differences uh, between the existing contract and the new contract. <clears throat> I have all of my suppliers here today with me, and uh, every one of them is going to be uh, uh, presenting and making a presentation, so uh, we're going to have, uh, you know, uh, every one of them here presenting. Uh, at the end of the webinar, we'll open the floor for questions. We have a, uh, a messenger toolbox uh, that you can use in order to ask questions. Uh, and uh, we're going to be taking the questions and responding to those questions. If we can respond them here immediately, we will. If not, we'll take down the questions and uh, respond to them later on. Now, the whole webinar is going to be posted on the DOAS website within a couple of weeks, so it's going to be, uh, it's going to be available uh, for everyone uh, publicly. Now, having said that, <clears throat> we're just going to uh, start off the webinar. Uh, so this is basically, you know, the list of things that we're going to talk about. Basically, uh, the purpose, I've, I've already uh, explained it. We're going to review the benefits of the uh, new contract. We're going to, you know, discuss some of the uh, uh, details. Again, the benefits. I'm going to talk about uh, how you can find the contract um, in our system, Team Georgia Marketplace. We're going to uh, look at a couple of screenshots and uh, uh, briefly go over how you can, you know, access the contract, how you can uh, uh, place your order, and you know, I'll uh, talk about uh, ordering instruction and so on and so forth. So again, the purpose is to introduce this, uh, the newly awarded statewide contract for industrial, medical, and special gases. We'll discuss the differences between the old and new contracts uh, and listen to our uh, uh, supplies presentations. Uh, the, the new contract number is here on the screen. Uh, it is not a renewal. It's a rebid. So this is a brand new contract. 
uh, the current contract, uh, the new contract replaces the, uh, the current contract, which expires at the end of this month. So the new contract is scheduled to start 1st of August, uh, and it's going to uh, have a one-year base period, and it will expire at the end of July of next year, 2012. Uh, the contract allows uh, the use of the P card, uh, and uh, uh, on the bottom you can see my name and my uh, contact information. As I said, I'm the uh, contract manager for this contract. So, uh, we'll talk about briefly about some of the key benefits. So uh, one of the key benefits uh, is the increased number of uh, products that are available, that are going to be available in the new contract. Uh, the customers that have been using the current contract uh, know that we only have about 40 line items in the current contract. Uh, the new contract is going to have uh, a lot more line items. Um, in the new contract, we have a core price list and an optional price list. The core price list uh, has about 80 line items, basically uh, twice as many as um, uh, we have in the current contract. Uh, and we have an optional uh, price list, which has about 40 or 50 line items. So we're talking about uh, you know, 120, 130 uh, line items in total. So this is basically you know, almost three, uh, three and a half times as many line items as we have in the current contract. Uh, so, you know, obviously one of the key benefits is the increased number of products that are going to be offered through the new contract. Uh, the other, uh, basically a novelty or a new feature is that we've introduced the bulk category uh, into the new contract. Again, the customers that have been using the current contract, they know that the current contract is only for cylinders. Uh, you can use the, the current contract to buy or rent cylinders and purchase your gas. And, and, and that's it. Uh, in the cur through the current contract, you're not able to um, you know, rent uh, bulk tanks uh, and purchase the gases in bulk. So the new contract is going to uh, offer you the ability to uh, make uh, uh, purchases in bulk. Uh, and rent uh, the tanks from the suppliers. So the, the sizes can be in the 1,000 uh, up to 13,000 uh, gallon uh, range. Uh, maintenance and installation of cylinders and bulk, uh, and bulk tanks at no additional cost. Uh, suppliers will be uh, uh, basically uh, responsible for uh, maintaining your cylinders uh, and bulk tanks. This is uh, um, this is more appropriate for the bulk tanks because uh, they're going to be uh, staged at your location and uh, will most likely uh, require some regular maintenance. Uh, and average cost savings uh, of about 12 to 14 percent over previously contracted prices. I want to I want to briefly talk about uh, uh, the current contract. Uh, so we have the current contract. Uh, the current contract was done back in uh, back in 2005, so we've had it for about five or six years. Um, it it was a fairly uh, a, a primitive contract. I think at the time the contract was rebid. We only have about ten line items. Uh, we've increased the line the the product line items throughout the years. I think in the past couple of years we've taken the number up to 40 line items. Uh, but it, it, it was a statewide award. Uh, in other words, only uh, suppliers have been awarded statewide, and the prices were good for the whole state. So it didn't really matter where you're located, what county or what region you are located. You'd be paying the same uh, price for rental, and you'd be saying, uh, paying the same rise price for the uh, for the product. Uh, the new contract is different in that we've made. Um, we made regional awards. We split the con we split the, the whole state, the whole 159 counties, into 12 different regions. Um, 
and we made regional awards. So we ended up uh, awarding the contract to uh, more than one supplier. In the current contract, we have only one supplier, uh, but in the new contract, we have uh, three suppliers. So we have two additional uh, suppliers, uh, which means you know there's going to be more uh, coverage assurance. Uh, you know, if you don't have the product available from one supplier, there's a possibility to, you know, go to a different supplier and get it from a different supplier. So th these are the basically the, the, the key differences between the current contract and the new contract. As I said, in the new contract, we have 12 regions. In the current contract, we have a statewide award uh, with uh, statewide prices. In the, in the new contract, we're going to have 12 different regions, and there's going to be uh, different pricing for each region. So, um, if you have uh, 80 line items in the core price list for region one, there's a chance that they're going to be different uh, from uh, uh, the prices in region two. You know, there's a possibility that some of them are going to be the same, uh, but there's also a chance that uh, uh, that the prices are going to be different. So the uh, the question that I usually get uh, from our customers is, how do I find the contract? Where is the contract? Uh, so we're going to go over the uh, uh, the screenshots that we have on the presentation, and I'll briefly tell you uh, how to find the contract. You know, keep in mind that you can contact me at any time if you have any uh, uh, you know questions, uh, or if you have any difficulties uh, in accessing the contract or in uh, placing an order, or if you have any uh, uh, you know technical difficulties or any uh, you know problems with the suppliers or any uh, problems with the order. So to find the contract, or well, the easiest way to find the contract is to go uh, to our website. Um, the website address is uh, www.doas.ga.gov, and uh, uh, you see a screenshot. For our website, and then you would need to go to a state and local drop-down menu. Uh, in the menu, you're going to see uh, state purchasing. So, uh, hover over the state and local section on the screen and click on the state purchasing uh, web link. So once you click on State Purchasing Web Link, uh, it's going to take you to uh, a different uh, window. And under the direct links, you'll have a link to statewide contracts. So you click on that uh, uh, web link on the statewide contracts. And it's going to take you to the statewide contract index for public. Uh, this is basically uh, an interface to our Team Georgia Marketplace uh, system. That's where all of the statewide contracts are uh, kept. Uh, so uh, there's a, a, a web link to, uh, that's going to take you to uh, a logon uh, screen and uh, if you want to uh, log in, you can use your username. Uh, the customers that are part of the Team Georgia Marketplace, they know their username, usernames and pa uh, passports. But the majority of the customers, they're, they're not on Team Georgia Marketplace yet. So they're going to be using uh, a guest login, which is uh, TGM guest. And the password is the same, basically, as TGM guest. So this is the uh, login screen that I was talking about. Once you click, uh, once you click the web link in the previous slide, it's going to take you to this login uh, screen. And you know, if you're using 
your own uh, again your your own login and password. You log in as your as yourself, or if you're a, a window shopper or a guest, you're going to use a TGM guest. So once you log in, it's going to take you to uh, our system, Team Georgia Marketplace. Uh, on the top right hand corner, uh, there is a drop down menu. Uh, you can drop the menu and you can uh, search the contracts by uh, suppliers or uh, by the products and services. Uh, you know, the easiest way is to uh, uh, search the contracts by products and services. All they have to do is just uh, type in the name of the product or service that you're trying to purchase. So once you find the contract uh, in Team Georgia Marketplace, you obviously click on the contract and uh, you're going to see uh, the contract profile which contains basically all of the information. It contains a brief description of the contract, um, i.e. what the contract is about. It contains a brief description uh, of uh, the products and services the contract offers. Uh, it contains information. Uh, about suppliers, it contains information about the contract manager, uh, and it gives you inform uh, pricing information and ordering instructions and so on and so forth. Basically, once you find the contract profile, uh, it's going to have everything that you need in order to place uh, your order or in order to uh, solve your problem or uh, answer your questions uh, or you know find the products or services that you're looking for. I'm not going to talk about step-by-step uh, uh, -step, uh, ordering instructions today because um, they are going to be available uh, through the Team Georgia Marketplace and uh, you know it will probably take us a long time if we uh, want to go over those but uh, once the contract starts which is 1st of August you'll be able to go into Team Georgia Marketplace, uh, find the contract, uh, find the information that you need um, you'll be able to find uh, uh, any information uh, pertaining to the suppliers or pertaining to uh, the products and services on the contract as well as ordering instructions. So everything is going to be available starting 1st of August uh, to the customers. And as I said, for more information you can always contact me uh, on the uh, left hand side you see my contact information, my email uh, and my phone number uh, and on the right hand side on the right hand column uh, you can see the supplier contract uh, contact information. Uh, on the new contract we have um, three different companies uh, which are going to be presenting uh, shortly. Uh, the first company is Air Gas South. Uh, Air Gas South is actually uh, the incumbent on the current contract. Uh, they've had a contract for a few years uh, and they're going to be uh, on the newly awarded contract. Uh, Craig Harrell uh, is the contract administrator uh, on the uh, Air Gas South side. Uh, the second uh, supplier is uh, Nexair. Uh, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a new, uh, new company to this uh, contract and new supplier to this contract. Ryan Norton uh, is the contract administrator uh, on the next air side. And the third company is, the third supplier is uh, air products and, uh, and chemicals. And uh, Zach Weber is the contract administrator um, on their side. So when you have questions, when you have you know, any issues, you can either contact me or the contract uh, managers um, on the supplier side. And you know, one way or another, we'll be able to help you out and resolve the issues and any problems that you have. Okay, so uh, this is basically um, you know a brief discussion that I wanted to, uh, or a brief presentation that I wanted to make. Uh, I'm going to uh, let our suppliers make their own presentations. Uh, 
Uh, and then we're going to open the floor to uh, any questions that you have. Uh, if you have any questions during the presentation, please feel free to raise your hand, and we're going to be able to uh, use the, the messenger uh, tool, and we'll start taking the questions, and uh, uh, you know, hopefully we'll be able to respond to all of your questions. So if you give me a minute, I'll uh, uh, pull up a presentation of our suppliers. Okay, the first supplier to present is uh, Airgas South, as I mentioned earlier. Craig Harrell is uh, the contract administrator uh, on uh, Airgas side. Uh, he's been the man for the past uh, couple of years. Um, I'm sure most of you know him, uh, and uh, most of you know about Airgas, but uh, he's going to be talking briefly about the company uh, and uh, uh, mention uh, on some of the regions that air gas has been awarded. Uh, so that I'll just pass it on to uh, Craig. Good morning, everyone. My name is Craig Harrell. I'm with Air Gas South, uh, District Sales Manager for North Georgia. Um, if we take a look at the first slide here, just a general overview of, of air gas and what it has to offer. There's, uh, as you see, 1,100 locations across the U.S. Um, we have 325-plus build plants, um, 16 air separation units, settling uh, plants, uh, spec gas labs uh, with three actually located here in the state of Georgia to take care of most of the universities and research labs as far as their, their gas needs or anything they would need there. Um, we make custom mixes as well as pure gases, uh, even uh, as far as some of the electronic grade gases that you would need. Um, we've got distribution centers, one here in Duluth, Georgia. Um, so as far as any hard goods needed, uh, most of those would be shipped to our local stores, which are covering the state of Georgia, uh, just about every city. Um, we have a store in, as, as you can see on the profile there. Um, so those distribution centers ship all of our hard goods to our stores where we deliver on our local trucks to, to each one of you guys there. Um, also on staff, as you can see, 25% of our total sales force we have are in specialists. These are guys that have been specially trained um, in either the welding side of it, the spec gas side, uh, bulk side, uh, rental specialists as well. So uh, go ahead and hit the next slide there. Now, gas is our principal product. Um, you know, all types of gases, um, bulk market, refrigerants, ammonia, process chemicals, spec gases, industrial gases, um, CO2 plants. Uh, we have CO2 and dry plants. Uh, of course, the CO2 plant is located in Augusta, Georgia with distribution throughout the state of Georgia coming out of Atlanta, Georgia. Um, we're the largest producer of nitrous oxide. Um, leading supplier of hard goods in the U.S. Uh, and also one of the largest welder rental locations um, in the U.S. Go ahead. As I said before, our package gas business is is the largest in the U.S. Um, we cover industrial medical spec gases, refrigerants, ammonia. Um, we have air separation units located here in Georgia. Uh, we can handle large bulk and small bulk. We carry complete lines and fully stocked stores um, with all of our hard goods, uh, filler metals, abrasives, um, just about anything anyone would need for welding, cutting. Um, and also, we're the second largest safety supplier in the U.S. Um, with most of, of all of that being in stock here in Duluth, Georgia. And as you see, the uh, 
the industrial gases, and, and most of these are spec gases as well, CO2, hydrogen, helium, um, all the welding gases, custom blends uh, that you would need, uh, the atmospheric gases, your oxygen, nitrogen, argon, um, settling. We also offer alternative fuel gases. We're very large in the refrigerant market. Um, ammonia, ammonia plant uh, distribution center in Columbus, Georgia, and as well as processed chemicals all the way from single lecture bottle size cylinders all the way up to uh, bulk deliveries. One thing Air Gas has to offer as well, and, and we hope none of us ever need this, but we do have an emergency response uh, team that is strategically located throughout the state of Georgia. We've got one also in Chattanooga, Tennessee, one based out of Atlanta here, and one out of Albany, Georgia. Um, so within three hours, we should be able to have an emergency response team anywhere in the state if there was a gas leak, um, a catastrophic failure of of some sort on, on some gas. These guys are highly trained to handle these situations. Um, you know, we're, we're totally prepared to, to take care of, of any problem that might arise or any gas leak, uh, be it a corrosive, a poison, uh, whatever. Uh, anything we sell, we can, we can handle with our emergency response team. This is pretty important, uh, especially the training that these guys go through and to see these guys in action is pretty impressive. Um, as I said before, our hard goods, uh, you can see from the slide there what our annual sales are. Uh, basically anything to do with welding or, or safety uh, we've got available to us. Um, touching on the safety there, PPE, first aid, uh, plant maintenance, signs, uh, matting, um, and we have safety specialists on site that can come to your location, uh, you know, do an overview of, of any of your locations, make recommendations uh, to keep you in line with any OSHA regulations or uh, NFPA standards. We also have a, a website uh, with eBusiness, our B2B site, uh, which includes our, our total catalog online there um, so you can you can go in look at uh, anything online you can pull MSDS sheets off uh, and for those of you out there that are, are working in the research field uh, we also have uh, certificates of conformance and certificates of uh, analysis online for you to pull off as well And that's uh, pretty much everything uh, that I've got. Uh, just know you've got our contact information. Anything that we can help with or any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to, uh, to contact us. Okay, now I'm going to let uh, our second supplier, uh, Air Products and Chemicals, to uh, you know, make a brief presentation, uh, just to uh, you know reiterate the, the the information about the award. Air Products and Chemicals uh, have been awarded the uh, uh, the bulk category uh, of the contract. Uh, at this point, there's only uh, uh, six or seven uh, bulk locations that we uh, awarded under the contract but we have a flexibility to uh, add uh, newly identified locations. We're going to be uh, working out some uh, uh, procedure for that uh, once the contract starts, but uh, at this point there's, uh, there's, like I said, six or seven uh, bulk locations. So having said that, I'm going to uh, turn it into uh, air products a second to pull up their presentation. As I said during the presentation, if you have any questions, feel free to raise your hand and uh, you know we can uh, we can uh, start taking your questions. Good morning everyone. Um, my name is Zach Webb. I'm with Air Products. Um, I have a short uh, five slides here to kind of go through uh, what who Air Products is and what we are offering as a bulk gas supplier. 
uh, to start Air Products is a global uh, atmospheric processing specialty gas uh, company. We are a Fortune 500 company, have approximately 21,000 employees worldwide, um, and handle around 7,500 customers in the United States. Um, go to the next slide. Uh, what I wanted to really touch on today is what you're getting with an air product supply. Um, this slide here shows that uh, with an air product supply, you would have a single point of contact. Um, with your bulk system, you would contact one person if, you're, if you need to contact their logistics. If you have a maintenance issue, if there's an engineering problem, uh, if you're interested in some of the technology that Air Products offers, uh, you'd have one single point of contact, so you're not trying to find a different person at Air Products to solve a problem. Yeah, you have to answer in one person. Uh, one of the second things you get uh, with a bulk supply is we have an online portal called AP Direct. Uh, with this, you can see online your invoices, uh, your also your delivery tickets. Uh, you can also go in and run uh, volume reports based on your, so you can show historical data showing what you've used over the past six months, past year. Um, and then also, which on the next slide we'll touch on, we have a telemetry system that uh, you can also view from the AP Direct portal so you can uh, manage the volumes in your tank from there. Uh, in addition, we also have safety training and uh, MSDS sheets on this portal as well. Uh, here's a slide on our telemetry system. All, the, all, the, our, all of our bulk systems will have a telemetry monitoring system on it. Uh, what this does is we monitor it from our telemetry center uh, and when your tank reaches a certain level, uh, we would send a truck, our logistics teams would send a truck out to have your tank refilled so that you're not running out of product. Um, this slide is to touch on what we would need to, to get started with each of the different agencies in Georgia. Um, we need to determine uh, what date we can swap out the equipment. Uh, we'll need to schedule a site visit so that uh, we can complete an engineering checklist and also have the names of site contacts, uh, both technical and from the purchasing side. Uh, we would have your new account set up in our system, and then we would schedule the equipment change out uh, based on your current contract end date and uh, what time we can do that. Uh, and that's all we have for our presentation. If there are any questions, or concerns, you can contact me, uh, and I believe Aziz has my contact information on the website. All right, thank you. And the third supplier is Nexair. Uh, Ryan Norton uh, is the contract manager for Nexair, and uh, is going to be. Uh, making his uh, presentation, and uh, after that, we'll uh, start taking questions. Um, hopefully, there's going to be some questions, and uh, hopefully, we're going to be able to answer them. And as I said, if not, uh, we'll get back to you later uh, with detailed uh, responses. Appreciate it. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Ryan Norton. I am a specialty and cryogenic rep for Nexair. Um, I'd like to start off uh, thanking everyone uh, letting me speak on behalf of Nexair and its employees. Uh, to show us your mi our mission statement there, we are committed to providing cylinder gases and related equipment to the state of Georgia. Um, a lot of people don't know us, uh, and that's, I guess, our fault, but uh, we have many years of experience providing industrial, medical, and specialty gases to customers throughout an eight-state region. Our goal is to provide a level of customer service that is unmatched, and with our sales force and operations team, we have the ability to support you with gases and equipment. During this conference call, I understand it will be hard to learn everything that Nexair has to offer. Please feel free to email me, and my email address is up there, and uh, everybody, I think, is on the website, too. But, um, and another thing is I know we're coming up against that August 1st deadline, so unfortunately I had scheduled a vacation for next week previous to this announcement. So uh, I will have my BlackBerry. I'll be available. Just shoot me an email or give me a call on my cell phone and I will get, uh, I'll get someone out there to help you uh, set up the accounts. I want to start off uh, next, next slide, please. Thank you. 
I do want to start off with giving a brief history uh, of Nexair. Um, we have grown this company. It's a privately owned company, and it grew from two companies in Memphis, Tennessee, merging in 1996. Both were mid-majors, and then both decided to come together. And through acquisitions and scratch starts in many areas, we've now grown to one of the largest privately held um, cylinder gas and bolt gas companies in the United States of America. The largest of the acquisitions was done three years ago when Nexair purchased Specialty Gases Southeast. Specialty Gases Southeast had a major footprint in the Atlanta area in the specialty gas lab and cryogenic markets through equipment sales and service. Nexair has used that experience to grow in the biotech market all across the Southeast and in Georgia in the last three years. So that you, you have heard of this. It, it was just under a different name. Next slide. All right, um, the revenues went up actually. Uh, so next there today, uh, give you a brief synopsis of that. We now have an annual estimated revenue of 97 million in sales. I know that says 83. Uh, I sent you the slide before it was done. Uh, but to be an 83 million dollar, 97 million dollar company in this time and be a, uh, a privately held company, we have a lot of. Uh, a lot of capital, a lot of assets able to that we're looking forward to placing down here. So Nexair is a debt-free company. We have cash on hand to expand in capital equipment or new locations when necessary. Being a financially sound company allows us to offer loans on capital equipment, industrial equipment. This is just one of the ways we're making a difference with local economies and uh, helping out the small guy around as well as state entities and, uh, and uh, laboratories. We, like the rest, we do have a specialty gas fill plant in a brand new lab. We have specialty gases, pure gases, ultra high purity gases, electronic gases, custom blended mixtures. We also offer industrial gases in all different sizes from liquid to, uh, to um, small bottles lecture size bottles. Um, we have a fully trained staff that's available uh, all the time to be able to help you with uh, choosing either the right type of gas, the right type of regulation equipment, gas distribution equipment, or any cryogenic services that you would need as in liquid nitrogen freezers, uh, autofill, non-autofill, vapor shippers uh, for the laboratory markets. Um, so a wide variety of different things that Nexair brings to the table that we're able to, uh, to, to handle. Uh, like I said, our sales staff is fully trained. Um, we have two types of sales staff. We have an outside sales force, which I will uh, have all their contact information up here in a second. And also we have an inside sales force. We have 15 guys uh, inside that have over 15 years each experience that can talk to you over the phone, that can add a little bit and hopefully uh, solve some questions or issues that you may have. Uh, all these guys are very easy to talk to and completely accessible through phone or email. So if you don't necessarily want or need a outside rep to come down, you have the option of uh, giving a number and that number will be up there. It's 770-886-8000. That will get you into our inside sales force. On top of the inside sales force, we also have an e-commerce function that is available 24-7 to all end users. The e-commerce function is very easy, easily set up. Um, it allows you to get into your account and view uh, your account balances, um, your cylinder balances, invoices in case you've missed invoices, as well as scan delivery tickets in case you wanted to match up a scan delivery ticket. You know, everything that we do um, is available 24-7 online. The, um, the other thing I know the state of Georgia that you just went over was the SciQuest enabled website. Uh, next there is SciQuest enabled. We have a host catalog uh, for your internal marketplace and to schedule the deliveries of gases, regulators, and related equipment. We also have been working directly with SciQuest for four years now. Uh, and we've come up with a pretty neat system of being able to organize internally um, everybody that processes these orders. So every time an order will go through, we usually set up email addresses, for example, 
Emory at Nexair. Basically, that email address will uh, hold archive and be able to add a search function to each order that's placed. So, for example, if we were to set up Georgia Tech, we would have Georgia Tech at Nexair, and all email orders from SciQuest would be delivered to that email address. That way, if a customer calls up and has a question about a certain purchase order, we're able to search that purchase order through the email system and be able to come up with a data delivery or if it's already been delivered. A little bit more about the company. We have 246 employees, a very long tenure, 12 years, and it's in our industries, people trade jobs, but having that 12-year tenure on average is very, very extended for our industry. Um, as you can see, uh, we have 20 locations. We just added another one um, and always looking to add more in the state of Georgia. Um, and uh, next slide, please. You can see our coverage area. It's, it's ever-growing. Um, we have reps mostly uh, in the north Georgia, Atlanta area, and east and west Georgia. Uh, I guess the other states really don't apply here, but um, we cover a very large amount of the state. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, this is the list of our contact information, and again, this will be available on the website, and I don't know if it's easy if we can put this list on the website under the contract or... It's going to be part of the, uh, the contact information. Sheet. Okay. All of the, uh, the location contact will be available from each supplier. So. Okay. Well, these are um, very accessible people. Uh, Jeff Smith is in charge of all of our operations. Um, and as you can see, the list goes down. There's myself. But we also have specialists in the area in industrial gas and equipment. We have specialists in welding. Uh, we have a university specialist, which basically is the administrator of our SciQuest and handles a lot of the on-call situations at universities. Uh, myself and uh, all of us here will be available for questions through the phone or email at any time. Uh, we'll respond as quickly as possible. One person I did want to set, uh, talk about is Sandy Gee. She's the accounting manager, and if you had any billing AR issues, it would go directly to her. I have a 1-800 number for her, and she also has a direct line if anybody would like that. Um, Sandy is going to be in charge of setting the accounts up, and we have now made online a uh, Basically, it's a credit application, but you would only fill out certain aspects of it uh, to be able to set up accounts online, or if you wish, just feel free to call me, and we'll get those set up to, and processed uh, swiftly. Um, next slide. And, oh, you got to click its pictures, I'm sorry. And again, and again. Thanks. Um, I was just wanting to show you kind of... Uh, for people that don't know what our trucks look like or what our operation looks like. We have uh, a wide variety of operational um, uh, safety things that we do, and every cylinder truck is fully palletized. All cylinders will be delivered on carts, permanently co color-coded, labeled uh, correctly, and distributed with um, inside universities with um, labels to, uh, to be able to tell exactly who that cylinder belongs to. We feel that if we do go a little extra mile and put labels on each cylinder that we don't have cylinder balance issues in the future, and then we're able to trace back and see exactly what cylinder and where and why, uh, where it went. Uh, we have different modes of transportation. We have uh, cylinder trucks, um, palletized, 12 packs, micro bulk and bulk, but I think that's handled by our products, so that need not apply. But um, I just want to say a few words in closing. I know we're ready to get out of here. We understand your skepticism that, that you would have during this, this change over time. It's a lot of work of shuffling in between suppliers, and you know we feel that we need to make it as easy as possible for everyone involved. And uh, The more information that we have from you guys uh, beforehand is the easier it is for us to prepare and uh, service what you, your needs. You know, I'm going to be available. Our entire team that was up on the board will be available for you to individually meet email us, call us, whatever your special requirements you might have, um, or, or you just you just want to learn more about Nexair. Um, we're here to help. And, uh, you know, uh, we can have you guys meet with our safety director. We had a guy from Georgia Tech call us yesterday, and we explained our HAZMAT team. We also explained our MSDS files that are online. And um, 
how accessible those are. And uh, we just want to put your worries at ease. So uh, you know, feel free, guys, uh, to, to call us or email us. And uh, appreciate your time. Thank you, Ryan. So just to quickly recap uh, the the main points of the new uh, contract. Again, there are going to be three uh, three suppliers in the new contract uh, versus the one supplier on the current contract. Uh, the current uh, incumbent is Airgas South, and Airgas South is going to be on the new contract. Uh, Airgas South has been awarded uh, ten regions out of twelve. Uh, those are regions one. Uh, uh, and uh, four to uh, eleven. The next area has been awarded uh, two regions, regions two and three. And air products has been awarded the bulk category. Uh, as I said, uh, there are six or seven bulk locations that have been identified and have been awarded <coughs> under the new contract. But uh, we are going to be looking into adding the newly identified locations into the state contract. Uh, so. Uh, if you want to know uh, who your new supplier is, but this is basically going to affect uh, the customers that are located in regions two and three. Uh, it's basically uh, the counties that are going to be affected uh, by uh, a supplier. Uh, you know, switch is uh, are Banks, Dawson, Forsyth, Franklin, Habersham Hall. Uh, Hart, Lumpkin, uh, Raboon, Stephens, Towns, Union, uh, and White. And in Region 3 is Cherokee, Clayton, Cobb, DeKalb, Douglas, uh, Fayette County, Fulton, Gwinnett, Henry, and Rockdale counties. So the counties that I just mentioned, um, they are going to be, and again, this is for uh, only for cylinders, they're going to be switching to next year. Uh, but the counties and all the remaining 10 regions will be served uh, by air gas. Uh, so I would say about uh, maybe 20 or 22 uh, uh, counties are going to be affected by uh, the supplier switch. Uh, and as I said earlier uh, throughout the webinar, all of the information, all of the ordering instructions, and all of the pricing uh, information will be made available starting uh, August 1st uh, through Team Georgia Marketplace uh, and uh, you know the uh, webinar is going to be uh, published on the DOAS website uh, and uh, going forward if you have any questions you can always contact me but now we'll open the floor for questions uh, if you have any questions we'll try to respond to them uh, so feel free to uh, use the messenger box Hi, Kathy. This is Nicole. We did hear your question, and I'm going to uh, repeat it so everyone can hear it. Kathy's question is, yes, are you saying we, we can only order gas from the company that is in our region? And then she writes, do we have the option to order from Next Air or Air Products? Kathy, this is Aziz. Um, it, it's a good question. This is uh, first of all, I want to mention that this is a mandatory contract, and uh, all of the state agencies uh, have to use this contract. Uh, as far as using uh, a supplier, you have to use. Uh, 
supplier that you, that have been awarded uh, a contract in your region. So I don't know what you what region you are in. If, if you're in region two or three, you have to uh, use Nexay, or this is for cylinder category. But if you're in region one or uh, four through twelve, you have to use air gas sal. Uh, you don't have an option to uh, choose between uh, air gas sal and Nexay, uh, because you know they've been awarded certain regions and certain counties. So uh, if you're in, uh, as I said, in region two or three, you have to use next air. And if you're in any other uh, region, you have to use air gas south. And if you have any bulk locations, you can contact me and uh, we'll work on uh, including that into the into the state contract. I hope that answers the question. Okay, Byron. So the next question is from, uh, from Byron Hicks. We'll read the question. Did you say Fulton County will be served by next year? Uh, so the next question is uh, from Byron Hicks. Uh, Byron, the Fulton County is going to be served by next year. Fulton County is in Region 3, and the whole region uh, has been awarded to uh, next year. So if you have any uh, questions about setting up uh, new accounts or uh, about, you know, uh, switching to a different supplier, feel free to contact Ryan Norton uh, or anybody um, that you know we had up on the on the screen. Those are going to be made available to everybody. Uh, you can contact anybody at next year and uh, they're going to walk you through and they're going to tell you uh, how to set up an account and uh, um, help you out with any of, uh, of the issues that you have. Okay, as I mentioned, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to raise your hand and uh, use the messenger tool. Uh, we'll be happy to answer your questions. Any other questions? Uh, I'm going to give a couple minutes just to take the questions, and uh, it seems like we have a question. Okay, Byron Hicks says another question. Uh, question is, how soon can we start purchasing under this contract? Uh, as I mentioned, the new contract starts first of August. Uh, the current contract uh, expires at the end of this month, and uh, we start the contract, uh, the new contract, on first of August, and uh, you will be able to start making your purchases uh, on first of August. Uh, Virgilia Taylor says, yes, can you name the county under Region 3 again? Okay, uh, I have another question. Uh, can you please name the counties under Region 3? I'm going to uh, list the counties uh, under Region 3, but uh, just to let you know, uh, this is going to be made available, uh, and I will post uh, the list of counties uh, in the new contract, so you will be able uh, to go into the statewide contract information sheet and identify uh, what region you fall under. So the counties in Region 3 are Cherokee, Clayton, uh, Cobb, DeKalb, Douglas, Fayette, Fulton, Gwinnett, Henry, and Rockdale counties. So again, Cherokee, Clayton, Cobb, DeKalb, Douglas, Fayette, Fulton, Gwinnett, Henry, and Rockdale counties. Uh, 
um, Bill Bill Fitz wrote. I wrote two questions, but it seems I cannot find them. Go back to Colin, Kathy. How do we find out what region we are in? We are currently receiving our gases from Air Gas South. We are at the state lab in Decatur, Georgia. Okay. Katie, Katie Hawk uh, has a question. The question is, how do we find out what region we're in? We're currently uh, receiving our gases from Air Gas South, and we're at the state lab in Decatur, Georgia. Uh, Katie, uh, Decatur, Georgia is in DeKalb County, uh, and that's Region 3. So uh, as I mentioned, again, if you're in Region 2 or 3, you're going to be buying from uh, Nexair. So, uh, Starting 1st of August, you'll be switching to next year. And as I mentioned earlier, for any questions, for any transition questions, please contact Ryan Norton, uh, and he'll walk you through and uh, uh, respond to any questions that you have. How does the air gas coordinate? Our next question. Uh, how does air gas coordinate the Georgia marketplace online orders with the local store? A few months ago, we tried to use the a few months ago we tried to use the Georgia marketplace to place an online order, but after a couple of weeks, the local store never delivered. They didn't know anything about an order. We wrote the contracts for the ordering but never got a response. Uh, I'm, I'm going to respond to this question. Under the new contract and uh, even under the current contract, if you place an order uh, through Team Georgia Marketplace, uh, all of your orders are going to be uh, handled by SideQuest. SideQuest is a third-party company uh, that acts as a liaison between uh, the state of Georgia, uh, and uh, uh, the suppliers. So on the state of Georgia side, we have uh, all of the end users. Um, there's close to 150 uh, different state agencies. And on the contract side, you know, depending uh, how many suppliers that we have, uh, they, uh, uh, they, they basically act as a middleman uh, between uh, the state and the uh, uh, suppliers. So in this case, uh, if you place an order with air gas through Team Georgia Marketplace, your order should actually go uh, to the same location. It doesn't go to different locations. It goes to uh, 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 some sort of designated email. It could be state of Georgia at airgas.com. So all of the orders that you place through Team Georgia Marketplace uh, go into that inbox, and then uh, air gas. Uh, processes the order and send, sends the order to, uh, to their you know, local uh, branches. So that's how, that's how it goes. It doesn't necessarily go, uh, when you place an order, the system doesn't send it to different uh, locations. Uh, every time you place an order, it goes to the same location, uh, i.e. the, uh, um, the uh, inbox uh, that's designated by uh, each supplier. And, uh, you know, sometimes uh, when you call uh, a local branch, they may not know. There may be a technical issue, and they might not have received the order. So if you ever happen to be in that situation, you know, you can call me or you can call uh, Quake, and uh, he's going to look into the system and find your order, and uh, he'll help you out. Uh, but the, the best thing is to call Quake and, uh, um, you know, if if the problem doesn't get resolved, you can always call me and we'll, we'll resolve the issue. Okay, next question. My name is Byron Hicks. I'm the welding instructor at uh, Atlanta Technical College. I need to know how to get a reliable vendor for my gas purchases. Okay, uh, Byron, um, Atlanta Technical College is located in Fulton County. Uh, as I mentioned several times, Fulton County is now going to be serviced by Nexair. Please contact Ryan Norton. Uh, I'm going to make his contact info 
uh, available to you. You can contact me. Uh, you can contact uh, Ryan Norton, and uh, he's going to help you with uh, all of your purchasing needs. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we have uh, 80 line items uh, under the core price list and about 40 and 50 line items under the optional price list. So there's a total of about 120, 130 line items in the new contract, and I'm sure that uh, you know, you're going to find the products that you need uh, under the new contract. So uh, just contact Ryan Norton, uh, and uh, we'll take care of you. The next question. My college has five different locations throughout the metro metropolitan Atlanta area. I have a question about how the regions have been divided and if certain supplies will be assigned to the different regions or if we would have a choice in which supplier we could utilize. Is that information available today? Uh, yes, that information is available today. As a matter of fact, uh, I can email it to you. Uh, if you can uh, call me or send me an email uh, uh, requesting this information, uh, I'll, uh, I'll send you a detailed uh, list of uh, uh, counties and regions uh, and the way they've been split into 12 different regions under the new contract, and I'll explain you how you should uh, uh, identify who your supplier is. So. Uh, I have that information ready and available uh, uh, today. As I said, please email me or call me after the webinar, uh, and I'll help you out with that. So the next question, uh, Lawns County falls under which region? And that is Region 11. Lawns County falls under Region 11. Region 11 is served by air gas, so uh, I think you've been using air gas in the past. So it's not gonna, it's not gonna, the new contract is not gonna affect you uh, uh, from the standpoint of uh, changing the supplier. You're gonna be using the, the same supplier, but your pricing uh, might have changed, and uh, you're gonna have uh, a lot more uh, product offerings under the new contract. The okay, next question: If we are currently using air gas, in a county that should be with Nexair, are we going to be required to change vendors? The answer to that question is yes. As I mentioned, the contract is mandatory, uh, and you have to use the suppliers uh, that have been awarded the contract in your uh, region. So if you're in region two or three, you have to start using Nexair. Again, if you have any questions, you may feel free to contact me after the webinar. Uh, or you know any time in the future, and I'll give you more information. I'll explain you how to switch to a different supplier. But in short, yeah, if you're in region two or three, you have to start using Nexair. It's a different supplier, uh, but for all the remaining uh, regions, you stick with Air Gas South. Next question: If our technical colleges have multiple campuses split across regions, will they have to utilize different vendors? Or is there a way to only set to set up one account with one vendor for that particular uh, college? That's actually a good question. All I can say at this point is, uh, if you have campuses uh, across the state or that fall under different regions, uh, then yeah, you would have to use. Uh, the supplier in that region. So uh, at this point, you know, let's say if you have uh, campuses that fall into region three, and then some campuses that fall into region four, uh, you'll have to, you know, use two different. Uh, you'll have to use two different uh, suppliers. Uh, the campuses in region three will be using Nexair, and the campuses in region four uh, will be using uh, Air Gas South. But you know you can you you can contact me you can call me and you know we can discuss this in more detail and see uh, if anything can be done about it. I'll I would need more information uh, and uh, as I said please contact me and we'll discuss this. So next question I have a PO with air gas and can I get orders delivered I have called and placed orders and 
and the company doesn't deliver. There's an issue there, I'd like to know about. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna let Craig address the issue. Uh, I mentioned this earlier, but the best thing is to, if you're not getting a response from a local branch of a supplier, the best thing is usually to contact the contract administrator that we have uh, under the contract. Uh, and if you can uh, if you can't get your product, first of all, you can contact me. You can contact Craig Harrell, but I'm going to let Craig address this issue. Um, yes, I'm not sure where you're located, but if there is a delivery issue or a problem, if you would either email me or call me, um, I'd definitely like to know about it so I can get that taken care of for you. Okay, next question. Uh, the air gas presentation shows that product lines include welding machines and uh, air metal and related haul goods. Can we utilize this contract for such goods, accessories, and equipment, or is it strictly limited to gases and tanks? Uh, again, this is a good question. Unfortunately, you cannot use this contract uh, for any equipment or haul goods. This contract is only for gases. Uh, cylinders and uh, ball tanks, um, but if you want to discuss, you know, your your needs with any of the suppliers, feel free to contact them. But under the current contract, you're only allowed to purchase cylinder and ball tank uh, gases. All right, next question. The new contract is not yet available on Team Georgia Marketplace. Can we be sent a listing of the core gases as well as the optional gases prior to the contract's start? Absolutely. You can contact me. Uh, just email me or call me. Uh, I have that information available. Uh, and I can email it to you. I can email you the price, uh, price list for the core uh, and optional uh, product. Uh, I'm going to try to make this available uh, in Team Georgia Marketplace uh, hopefully by the end of this week so that end users can look uh, at the contract, can look at the products that are offered and can start identifying who the supplier uh, for, the, for the region is. Uh, so I understand that, you know, uh, it, it, that there's going to be a transition period, and uh, the sooner that you have that information, the better it is. So I'm going to sort. I'm going to uh, uh, try to make it available by the end of this week. But meanwhile, if you want to have that information, please email me or call me, uh, and I'll send it to you. Uh, next question: We are with uh, Decap Tag. Our billing is in Decap County. However, the cylinders we're using are in Newton County. We're currently using Nexair. Will this still be the case?
Yeah, yeah, I'm going to read this question again. We are with DeKalb Tech. Our building is in DeKalb County. However, the cylinders we're using are in Newton County. We're currently using Nexair. Will this still be the case? Uh, I, th I think this is a very good question, and I think there are a few cases uh, where we have a building department in one county or in one region, and the end user is in, is in a different region. So I'm going to have to look into this uh, issue uh, in, in more detail. I can I can't answer this question right now at this moment, moment, but I'll definitely get back to you. Uh, you know, feel free to contact me uh, either today after the webinar or tomorrow. I'm going to get some uh, resolution to this question today, and uh, I'll make it available to everyone uh, when we host the webinar. Uh, just uh, as FYI, all of these questions will be made uh, part of the webinar and will be posted within the next couple of weeks. Uh, so you know, you're going to have access to all of these questions and responses later on. Next question, we have used more oxygen supply for cylinder rental from uh, for Troop County. Who are we going to be required to use? That's an easy question. Uh, Troop County is going to be air gas, uh, and it's in region. Troop County is in Region 4, so it's definitely air gas. Okay. Next question, when will the contract be available to view within Team Georgia Marketplace? So the contract starts 1st of August, but I'm going to try and make it available uh, to view in Team Georgia Marketplace by the end of this week. Uh, as I said, I'll try uh, to do my best to make it available. Uh, if not, we're definitely going to make it available early next week. But as of now, the goal is to make it available by end of this week. Next question, will Nextair supply uh, liquid nitrogen to, to Georgia Tech? Uh, I'm, I'm sure we have liquid nitrogen on the, on the new contract. You know, we're going to have to look into uh, the line items uh, that we have on the contract. You know. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that it's on there. It's so in the, in the liquid cylinder form, yes, that's on the contract. But in the bulk form, air products. Yeah, if 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 you if you're buying liquid uh, nitrogen in cylinders, then you'll be using uh, Max Air. But if you're buying it in bulk, you'll be using air products and chemicals. But uh, you know, you can contact me after the webinar, and we'll look into the line items under the new contract. Uh, alternatively. Uh, they're going to be available in Team Georgia Marketplace by the end, by the end of this week, so you can look at uh, the line items for yourself. Okay, it seems like uh, we've answered all of the questions. Uh, if you have any questions, again, feel free uh, to raise your hand and uh, send your question, and uh, we'll be happy to respond to your questions. Again, keep in mind uh, the webinar together with all of the questions and uh, answers will be posted on the DOAS website within the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, compile all, all of the questions and uh, provide responses and uh, uh, add it to my presentation. So that there are going to be four different presentations and uh, a separate document which will have all the questions and uh, answers uh, that we got from the Q&A session. And if you don't have any questions, uh, we are going to conclude our uh, webinar. 
feel free to contact me with any uh, other questions or issues after the webinar. Uh, I'm available to uh, uh, help you with uh, any of the issues uh, that you have, especially uh, customers that are in Region 2 and 3 uh, that have to uh, transition to a, a different supplier. Feel free to contact me, and I'll do my best to make the transition as smooth as possible. And again, thank you uh, for your time. Uh, and uh, have a good day.